and Richie are going to show us some stretches today that you can do at any point in your day at a time that suits you best. Now, it might be quite nice to do these while listening to some of your favourite music. Sounds quite relaxing, actually. So today we're going to be looking at stretches. The first exercise is a calf stretch. So we can do this in a standing position or a seated position. If you're standing, you might want to have a chair or a kitchen bench close by. So first we'll run through the standing position. Feet hip distance apart and parallel, up nice and tall through the crown of the head. Again, if you need to hold on to your support. You're going to take a nice step forward, bend in the front knee, back leg should be nice and straight as you press down into your heel. In this position, we should try and hold it for 10 to 15 seconds, pressing down in that heel, feeling the nice stretch in the calf. And then slowly with control, return in the foot back to the start position and then change inside. So a nice step forward, bend in that front knee, heel still in contact with the floor, lengthening up through the crown of the head. When you've done your stretch, return the feet back to that start position. We're in a seated position, feet hip distance apart and parallel, making sure that we've got equal weight on both sit bones. We're going to take one foot, lengthen it out, resting it onto your heel, and then you're going to pull your toes towards you. So again, we're going to hold this stretch for about 10 to 15 seconds. You should be feeling a nice stretch on the back of your muscle, the calf muscle. Again, holding for 10 to 15 seconds, bringing the leg back, and then change in sides, lengthening that leg out, pulling the toes towards you until you can feel a nice stretch on that calf muscle. When you've held for 10 to 15 seconds, return the foot back to the start position and relax. So our next exercise is going to be a hamstring stretch. So standing up, all we want to do is have our feet hip width apart, hands onto our thighs, take one leg out nice and straight out in front. In this position, I just want you to push your bum back, leaning forward from your hips. You should feel a nice stretch up the backs of your legs. You want to try and hold this stretch for 10 to 15 seconds. Once you've done it on one side, just stand up, feet back to centre, and swap sides again. So hands on thighs, leg out straight, push your bum back. If you can't feel the stretch, you might want to push your bum further back and lean a little bit further forward. If needs be, you might want to hold onto a chair. Once you've done your 10 to 15 seconds, standing up nice and tall and relax. In a seated position, um, what we want you to do is to take one leg out nice and straight, but you must be sitting on the front third part of the chair. From this position, hands can go on your bent leg and you're going to lean forward from the hips, taking your chest down towards your feet. Remember to lengthen up through the back while you do it and try not to round your shoulders. And then bring that foot back in. You're going to swap your hands over onto the other leg. Other legs out nice and straight. And again, we lean forward from the hips. Remember to lengthen up through the spine first before we actually lean. 10 to 15 seconds, feet back together and relax. By stretching the muscles of your legs, it can help increase your stride length. This in turn will help reduce the risk of falling or tripping. If you do these things regular, they should hopefully become part of your daily habits. Remember to have a kitchen chair or bench close by and hold onto your support if you need to. Keep your back nice and straight while doing these stretches and try and see if you can hold the stretches for 10 to 15 seconds. And if you'd like to give some more exercises a go, you can visit the website of Gateshead Older People's Assembly or you can give them a call.